Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is like me waiting for my introduction, like it's happening right now, like I'm filming. Today I am going to be doing the TMI tag. So that's basically um, a tag that you can look up and it's a bunch of questions that are considered too much information and you're to answer them. That's basically all it is and I'm going to be doing that today. Okay, so the first question is who was your first crush? Probably my boyfriend Luke in preschool. So shout out to him if he ever sees this, definitely won't. I have no idea what his last name was. I just know he went to my preschool, so. And he was my boyfriend. I don't remember much else. Do you believe in love at first sight? Kind of, but then not really. Like, yeah, but nah. That doesn't really help, and that's not really an answer. But that's my answer. Have you ever used another person's toothbrush? I feel like I have. I know my little brother used to use my toothbrush without me knowing. So um, we can imagine that didn't go down well when I found out. That grosses me out. A fun fact about me is I hate saliva. Like anything to do with saliva, it grosses me out. I hate saliva. But yeah, I can't imagine using another person's toothbrush. That just doesn't make sense to me. What TV show is your favourite from your childhood? Why is this too much information? This is like a basic question, but okay. Um, definitely Wizards of Waverly Place for like primary school years, preschool years, um, my mum has told me many a times that that was Dora the Explorer. So yeah, I don't remember that, but I'll take her word for it. So yeah. Do you believe in aliens? If yes, why? Um, I do because I find it very hard to believe that there's absolutely nothing else out there. So. I mean, that, that's basically it, like, I can't, like, it doesn't make sense in my head for there to be nothing else but us. Like, that does not make sense to me, so, yes, I believe in aliens. If there was a zombie outbreak, what would you do first? Cry. How many push-ups can you do without rests in between? Zero. Not very strong. Who is your favourite singer in your childhood? Selena Gomez. Have you ever had a boyfriend or girlfriend? Well, considering at the start of this video, I mentioned that I had a boyfriend in preschool. The answer is yes. But then I also have a current boyfriend now, and his name is Tate, and I love him very much. If you won one billion dollars in the lotto, what would you do first? Buy a house for my family? Have you stayed awake for more than 24 hours at a time? Yeah, and it really messed me up. Like, whew, I was so tired. I was doing it so I could get in a better sleeping routine because I used to go to bed at like I used to go to bed at like 10 a.m. and wake up at 7 p.m. That's where my sleeping was. So obviously I had my days and nights reversed, and that wasn't good. Um, so to get back out of that, I you know woke up at 7 p.m. and then instead of going to bed at 10 a.m., I just kept going until I think probably like. 10 or 11 p.m. the next night so that was all trying to fix my routine and it didn't last long but we're better now who is your celebrity crush selena gomez <laughs> or ariana grande so yeah nothing too spicy sorry what are five habits that you wish you could give up biting my nails that's a bad habit that is really annoying staying up too late and then going to bed what? Staying up too late and then waking up really late? That's annoying. That's two. Um, 
always having to be right. Tate, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. That's a bad habit too. Always have to be right. Yeah, I can't think of any off the top of my head right now. That requires too much thinking and I've got more questions. So, What is your current relationship status? Taken. What is your favourite TV show right now? Riverdale. Rest in peace to Archie's dad. Okay, this one says, please tell me, do you even lift, bro? When was this made? That is so old. But yeah, definitely not, so. What subject did you like most of all during your high school life? Hmm. I don't want to say maths because that sounds like really nerdy. So like probably like music or like, hmm. I enjoyed CAFs, which is Community and Family Studies. I was pretty good at that. I hate to say it, but probably maths. That seems so lame, oh my god. What was your least favourite school during? My least favourite school? Absolutely not. My least favourite subject during high school? Um, English, the opposite of maths, so. Love Mr Donaldson though, if he ever says this. Love you sir, but um, yeah, the subject you teach, not a fan, not a fan. Never a fan, never was a fan, never gonna be a fan. I hate English, passionately hate English. What's your favorite number? Four. Do you have any tattoos and what are their meanings? I do not have any tattoos, so can't tell you the meaning. Where do you go when you feel down? Wherever I can play my music and watch YouTube. Which is your favorite pizza and why? Meat lovers. That's gonna offend any vegetarian or vegan out there, but meat lovers. And, um, fun fact, I don't really like pizza. Like, it's not bad, I'll eat it. This is TMI. If anything's TMI in this whole video, it's this current information that I'm about to share with you. Pretty sure I'm not allergic, but like, intolerant to something to do with pizzas. It might be like, the yeasts that they use in the dough or whatever, but like, there's something about pizza, it just, doesn't sit well with my tummy and my stomach hates me every single time I eat it, so. How many kids do you want to have? I want like a decently large family, not like too big, but like four kids-ish, maybe more, but yeah. Already have two boy name pics. What? Two more? No! That is not correct. Why can't I speak? Two boy names picked out. Um, and yeah, very indecisive on the girl names. I have like 20 picked out. I can't narrow them down, so that's an issue. Have you ever cried because of a movie or cartoon? Um, yeah. If you haven't, then like, are you okay? Like, hello? Has anyone seen Molly and me? Like, if you didn't cry, we need to talk. Are you proud of your parents? If yes, why? Of course I'm proud of my parents. They raised me. Do you know how hard of a job that was? Honestly. Anybody in this world should be proud of my parents. Again, me. <laughs> that was a lot of work and I'm very sorry, mum and dad. Um, but yeah. Do you have any siblings? If so, how many? Um, I have five siblings. Um, that whole situation is like a whole other video. Um, my eldest brother is Jesse. My second eldest is Josh. Now, yeah, this is where it gets confusing. Okay, I have two siblings that are younger than me that I don't live with. Um, I haven't seen them in like 10 plus years. Again, that's a whole other video. Um, I believe Ethan would be the oldest younger sibling, so he would be right below me. Then Madeline. Then Zach. Not actually sure, because I don't know how old they are, because, um, yeah, it's hard to keep track of that sort of thing. I should know. Um, I could just ask my dad, and he would obviously know. But I can't remember all the details, um, so I can't 
remember Ethan or Madeline's birthday. I can't remember what year they were born. I know they were a year apart. I can't remember what year they were born though. Um, Ethan, I believe, should be in high school now. Not sure about Madeline. I don't know if Ethan's in year seven or eight. Maybe he's in year nine. Like, I have no clue. Um, which is really sad. It makes me sad very, very often because I love them both to death. Um, but I can't see them anymore. So, there's that. Um, I don't want to cry, so we're going to stop talking about that. We're going to move on to the next question. Do you have your own channel on YouTube? Where else am I posting this video? What sort of question is that? Do you love watching YouTube and why? Of course I love watching YouTube. That's like all I do. <laughs> That's so sad. But um, yeah, I love watching YouTube. Um, it definitely helps me unwind if I've been under any sort of stress. And I look up to a lot of specific YouTubers. I couldn't imagine not watching their videos like every single day but anyways what is your favorite movie and what is your favorite thing about that movie um I'm gonna have to go with the tried and true Nemo or finding Nemo um and definitely the part where Dory sings <laughs> Have you ever made your parents proud? I hope so. Mum? Dad? Other dad? <laughs> um, I have my dad and my stepdad, so that's why I said that. But um, I'm pretty sure I make my stepdad proud pretty often because I like to help out in the family a lot with a lot of different things. So yeah, I'm pretty sure he's proud of me often. Um, I believe my mum is proud of me. I hope she's proud of me. If she watches this, she'll be like, don't even second guess yourself. You know I'm proud of you. But anyways, love you mum. Um, and then my actual dad, I, I know he's proud of me. He does say that. Where do you live and are you happy with it? I live in Australia. I am very happy with living in Australia. I love my country. What is your favourite time? Past, present or future? Definitely present. you got to live now. And definitely something that has always not messed me up, but like definitely gets you like in your head thinking like what is and I've definitely posted it um, on Facebook before when I was younger. Oh, it was something about like you can well, it's obvious, but like it just when I was younger it got in my head. It was just like you can you always talk about the past and the future but you can never live the past or the future. You're always living the present. So five minutes ago, I was living the present, but right now, five minutes ago was past. Or five minutes in the future, um, I will be living in the present. I can never live in the future. It's always one step ahead of me, and the past is always one step behind me. So yeah, these words that I'm saying right now, in a few seconds, it will be in the past, but as I was saying, it was in the present. So I can only ever live in the present. I can talk about the past and the future as much as I want, but I can never, ever, ever live in them. So yeah, I don't know if I explained that well. If I find the Facebook post and if I'm able to post it here, I'll put a screenshot of what I was talking about in that post, but that's, I'm pretty sure that's basically what I was saying. But yeah, it still gets to me like, we talk about the past and present so much, we can never live in them though. So that's weird to me, but anyways. What is your zodiac sign? I am a cancer. A little crab with little pincers. Pin pinches? Pincers? I don't know what they are. What? What the? At what age did you have your first kiss? Um, like an actual real kiss? 15. But like I've told you earlier in the video. I had a boyfriend in preschool and we obviously kissed in preschool but like that does not count to me because like I barely even remember that. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to count that and I'm just going to say 15. At what age did you have your first crush? Preschool. 
Do you hate anyone right now? No, hate's a strong word. Definitely don't hate anybody. Um, I could strongly dislike someone, but I can't think of it. Actually, yeah, there's one person. <laughs> Got it. Yes, there is someone that I strongly despise right now. It's not like a, it's not like anything to do with me. It's someone who is like, not necessarily hurting one of my friends, but like annoying one of my friends and being very over the top and whatnot, if that makes sense. Like there's a certain person that is ruining one of my friends' lives and won't stop and won't give up. So, um, oh, if you're watching this, you know who you are. Um, sorry, but I definitely don't like the way that you treated my friend when she made a decision. You need to move on and stop harassing her and everyone would be happy. So, yeah, if you're watching this, you know who you are and um, you know what you've done wrong, so. Have you had any piercings? If yes, where? Uh, yeah. Um, I've got my belly done, I'm not going to show you that because I can't bother to get up, I'm lazy. And then I have my firsts and seconds done on both ears, so that. Oh, I used to have my firsts done when I was little, like in primary school at some point, I think it was like year one, and then they got infected and started bleeding and I was way too like squeamish and like as soon as I saw blood I freaked out and mum got like sick of it and stuff like that and she was like I'm not dealing with this anymore and you're taking your earrings out they're closing up and you're not allowed to get your ears pierced again until you're 18. so that happened but then I ended up like getting my ears pierced again when I was like oh maybe like 13 or something like that I don't remember when I eventually got my ears pierced done <laughs> that is not correct my ears done, my ears pierced again, wow, um, but yeah, it obviously happened earlier than I was 18, um, I got my belly done when I was 18, but, um, yeah, I remember walking through the shopping centre one day, and mum just being like, I think my auntie was with us at the time, and then mum just being like, do you want to get your ears done, and I was like, so shocked because I was under the impression ever since I was like seven that I was only allowed to get them pierced when I was 18. I never asked. I never did any of that. I was like, okay, I did carry on. I understand now. Looking back at that, I understand. So I was never going to ask. And um, yeah, never asked. And she just randomly said, do you want to get your ears done? And I was like, over the moon. And um, yeah, so I got them done. But um, yeah, there's a little fun side story. You're welcome. Do you smoke? No. And I never will. Have you ever catfished anyone? Yes, I actually have. And I was so little when I did it too. Oh my God, I remember that now. Oh, oh my God. I'm taking that one to the grave. Have you ever lied to get out of trouble? <laughs> yep. Uh, sorry, mom, I love you. But I definitely used to blame um, a lot of stuff on Josh when I was little. I think she always knew. But um, Josh obviously knew because he knew he didn't do whatever I was blaming him for. But um, yeah. Yep. Have you ever been heartbroken? Yep. How tall are you? I'm five foot five, I believe. Pretty small. If you could choose one Disney princess to be your best friend, who would you choose? That's such a weird question. Probably like Rapunzel or something. I don't know, I can't even think of all the Disney princesses right now. Like, I have no idea, but probably Rapunzel from like Tangled in particular because um, yeah, I love her. I love that movie, so yeah. If you could, what would you change about your first kiss? Nothing. I think everything happened the way it needed to happen. Um, yeah, I believe in everything happens for a reason and there was nothing wrong with my first kiss. And that sounds so like cocky and conceited, but um, my current boyfriend was my first kiss. Again, I said earlier um, that I don't consider preschool something that would count, so I'm going to go with 
my one at 15 with my current boyfriend. Um, and yeah, nothing went wrong. Like it wasn't gross, it wasn't bad. It was pretty good. That's so weird because everyone says like, oh, my first kiss was so bad. Mine definitely can't relate, definitely did not have that experience, but. When was the last time you insulted someone and who was it? Um, probably like five minutes ago and myself, so. What is the last text you sent? I believe it was to my boyfriend and it said, check your Snapchat, so yeah. When is your birthday? The 25th of the 6th, 2000. I'm a millennial baby, so that's kind of cool because then you can never forget how old you're turning that year because it's just the end of that year, so. 2019, I'm turning 19 on the 25th of June. When was the last time you cried? It's March, probably in February. Probably early February. Have you ever been arrested? No. <laughs> Definitely not. But um, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for today's videos. Videos? Well, I have recorded more than one video today. I guess that's my brain telling me that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, follow my social medias. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys all next Sunday. Bye guys.